I'm Karan Bhatia, joined by Keyshawn Davis, Kelvin Davis, the Davis brothers. We know you guys are lighting up the world in boxing, both fighting on the same card. Tomorrow, we're on the eve of, of fight night, so where, where's the mindset at right now? Knowing that you're fighting tomorrow and your brother's fighting. I'm clear-headed, level-headed, you know what I'm saying? I'm ready to go. Uh, we spent like six weeks in camp, getting all prepared for this one night. So I'm just ready to get in there and get and get the job done, really. Like, And then I got my brother alongside with me, so we can both perform in the same night. And I know we are gonna perform excellent, just off the strength of how we trained in camp. and. Just, just all the preparation we did. I know we ready. Wanted to talk about, obviously, the Bomac situation. Weren't sure if he was gonna be here. He will be here now. I know I know that probably was like an emotional roller coaster. I mean, what, what was that like for you to go through that? No, nah, I wasn't no emotional. You know, I come from the hood, so we, we always see people get locked up. Our friends get locked up and stuff like that. So it was just like another, you know, thing that we had to deal with. But um, our coaches and stuff like that, you know, we all came together and we just all had to step up. You know, Bomac, you know, is a big part of our team, but it's a team, you know, it's not just one person. So everybody just made a step up. You know, um, we here and we ready. You guys are both ready uh, for this opportunity. Uh, Kelvin, what, do, what does Keyshawn do well in the ring that, that you admire? I mean, it's a lot of stuff Keyshawn does in the ring, but uh, in particular, I say he's, uh, he's fast on his feet. You know what I'm saying? He know how to close the distance like really fast. And he's 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 aggressive. But sometimes I, like I try to tell him that could be a downfall. Don't be overly aggressive, you know what I'm saying? But like he just has that mentality of he's a like a fighter, a natural fighter, you know what I'm saying? So he's trying to be trying to beat on you. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, but for the most part, skillfully, like he's fast on his feet. He can close the distance. And he, he got a good IQ. He's been around the world fighting all types of guys. So it's like nothing they can put in front of him that he hasn't seen before. Same question for you. What, what does he do well in the ring? In the ring, man, I feel like if Kelvin hit anybody with a clean punch, they hurt with that left hand or that right hand. I feel like outside of just his skill and his IQ that we both carry, Kelvin has some dangerous power that people don't even know. Um, I feel like, like I said, if Kelvin hits you with a clean shot, whether it's a jab or left hand or a hook, if it's clean, it's connecting, Kelvin hurt you, and that's just facts. You're two years younger than him, and, and we've seen everything you've achieved. You guys both have the same record in boxing, but I know that you want him to also have the same shine that, that you do. You guys want to rise in this game together. Are you protective in a way about, about Kelvin and, and everything he's doing in the ring? Yeah, I am. I say that. I definitely am. I, I definitely am, especially like sparring sessions where, you know, it's not outside of a fight. Like if my anybody fighting my brothers, any kind of dirty or anything, I'm the first person saying something about to jump in the ring, about to beat that guy. You know what I'm saying? So definitely protective. Was it always like that growing up as well? Um, no, I think when we was kids and stuff, Kelvin more so protect us. But as I got older, um, I just automatically just became the protector out of us, I guess. When you guys were growing up, who, who used to get the best of it? I'm sure you guys sparred and, and fought all the time. Who used to get the best of it growing up? That's funny. You can't really say growing up because it's like when you're kids, of course, the, the older brother. person going to win. <laughs> right. They don't even got to be family or brothers. If I'm right. two years older than somebody, I'm about to fight. I'm gonna beat. I'm gonna punish him just because of my age and we're kids. So if I'm, he's nine. If I'm 11 and he's nine, there's no way he's beating me. Right. You know what I'm saying? So that's kind of like self-explaining. Yeah, absolutely. Kishan, I wanted to ask you about, I know you've, you've been open about everything that you went through to, to get here, you know, mental health challenges, everything, and I applaud you for being open about that. Um, I know you, you went through some struggles uh, at a certain point, and there was obviously a lot of pressure. Um, you, were, you were able to get through that, get on the other side, and now you, you lead by example. Um, Kelvin, when, when he was going through those things, I mean, what was your thought as, as a brother? Well, honestly, at that, around that time, I wasn't even boxing. You know what I'm saying? I was out here doing what I do. So, and then I seen him, he was just on the, on the USA team, traveling internationally, and then I've, I I get a call and they saying he going through this and that. So, like, how I was hurt, because I'm thinking, like, if 
anybody should be going through something. It's me, you know what I'm saying? Cause I'm, I'm, they was living in Alexandria, Virginia and I was still in Norfolk, Virginia. So it was like, they, that's like three hour difference. So I'm really in Norfolk by myself and I'm like 18, 19 years old. So I'm going through what I'm going through, but then still hearing that he doing this at the top level. He the best in the, on the team and he doing all this, but to still see him go through something like that, it, it really hurt me, you know what I'm saying? So when I, when I, when I seen him and I, I was hurt, but then I had to realize like, just everything that glitter ain't gold, you know what I'm saying? You can still be at the top or still be doing all this top, all this stuff, but still go through things, you know what I'm saying? So it's just, it, it really kind of like made me think, brought me back down to reality and like, just because you are doing good don't mean you're not going to go through things, you know what I'm saying? Or just because you are doing good don't mean you're good. No, that's exactly it. You could be having success professionally in other parts of life, but still be going through something. And, and like I said, I applaud you for working through that and, and now as an example to others. If someone's listening to this and is going through a tough time, I mean, what, what would be your advice, something that helped you get through it? I just feel like just us in my culture, we not, we not educated on emotional intelligence. And if you look that word up, um, if you look that up, you can, it'll help you understand it more. But I feel like just in our culture, we're not taught that. And um, I feel like once I started learning that and just started knowing who I was, I started learning how to cope and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, I mean, I just feel like that's just, that's just big for us just to know so we can just be the best who we can be. And, and speaking of the best, you're gonna be, get, Kelvin, give me the vision for the Davis Brothers brand in, in the future, five, 10 years. What, what are we gonna be saying about the Davis Brothers? Y'all gonna be saying those are the guys in boxing. Uh, there isn't three brothers that's actually good in the sport, all three that's actually good in the sport of boxing, you know what I'm saying? So five years from now, we can all be on the same card or all three headlining, you know what I'm saying? A triple header, you know what I'm saying? That's all brothers back to back. So that would be big for our family, big for our community. And I just feel like we coming to take over the game, really, because nobody's getting in his way. Nobody's getting in my way. And my little brother has that same mentality. So if we all have that same mentality and we put the work in and we've got the talent and the experience behind it. Who's like, nobody's getting in our way. So five years from now, it's like the sky's the limit. I can't even call it because I just feel like I'm putting a ceiling on it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and it's just piggybacking off of that. Um, and, and your brother Keon is the third brother who's, who's up and coming himself. Right, yes, like we all had that same mentality, but I think it gets, like I think the mentality and the, the aggression gets more and more as it gets younger. Like, I think Kelvin, you know, he got that mentality. I think I also got the mentality of Keon do, but I tell Kelvin like, look, Kelvin like, man, Keyshawn, sometimes you be fighting a little crazy in the ring, like you get out of hand. I be like, Kelvin, my little brother is worse. Keon is worse than me. He's he's me times two. Like man, no, he ain't. You be tripping. Come to find out, Kelvin seen it for himself. I think Keon be tripping, yo. You feel what I'm saying? So, like, as it gets younger, we get more like I wouldn't say dominant, meaner. Yeah, we get just meaner. You know what I'm saying? Just trying to, cause I guess, cause I'm trying to not competing against him, but I'm just trying to outdo him. I try to outdo him. And I guess, I don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't really know how to explain it. But it's like, when we was growing up as kids, it's like, me as the big brother, my mom, my mom put a lot of pressure on me. You know what I'm saying? Just because I was the big brother, we don't have no males in our family. So it's like, I'm that. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, coming up, I'm trying to install that in my little brothers. Like, if I'm walking around the house, I push Keyshawn. Keyshawn try to fight me, so we just start fighting. But like. I'm just trying to train him so when we when you get older you can hold your own against somebody else you know what I'm saying same thing for my little brother I push him around you know what I'm saying so now that we older I'm kind of more of the laid back guy and like he said as it get younger it gets meaner you know what I'm saying cuz it's like all right Keyshawn like Keyshawn like oh, man my big brother used to do this to me I bet nobody else going to do it to me and now Keyshawn like my two big brothers doing this to me I guarantee you nobody else doing this to me you know what I'm saying so it's like it's just, it's just who we are. Like DB, DB3, we really, this is really a family business. Like all three of us, talented, mean, skillfully, got that, like I said, already got that same mentality. So it's like, just, like I said, the sky's the limit for us. Like, I just feel like, I don't really know these other fighters, but I just feel like nobody is tougher than us in this game. Mm -hmm. 
And I mean that with my heart, you know what I'm saying? And I don't even know these other guys really or what they come from and they can tell their story and I still don't care, you know what I'm saying? It's just the mentality you gotta have as a fighter. When we, we talked earlier about what was important for you, legacy, money, and, and you did mention legacy in boxing, but it sounds like the vision isn't just Keyshawn Davis or just Kelvin Davis or just Keon Davis. This is the Davis brothers, right? It, the, the vision for the legacy is the Davis brothers brand. Would, would you agree with that? For sure. Ever since Kelvin came up with the idea of DB3, before he even got back into boxing, that was always the plan for us to build DB3 into, into a worldwide brand. You know what I'm saying? Just starting with us fighting. Like a starting five on the basketball team, you're only as good as your weakest link. You know what I'm saying? So me coming up in this professional game, even when we just started, and only two years ago, we all know Keyshawn was who he was. He did this and he did that, he did that, that. So I made it my business to be like, oh yeah, him too. So every time I stepped in that ring, I made it my business to be like, yeah, it ain't just Keyshawn, it's him too. So now after my baby brother Olympic run, and he gonna turn pro, he gonna have that same mentality because it's like, dang, my two bigger brothers are doing this, and I gotta show the world that I'm the same, the same type of person. You know what I'm saying? So as we all, like you said, five years down the line, we can all be in the same position. You know what I'm saying? It's just time gonna tell and, and gotta trust the process. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? The next stop on your journey tomorrow night. You're both 9 0, 6 knockouts, looking to improve that record, both looking to get to 10 0. Best of luck to you guys. Keyshawn Davis, thank you so much. Kelvin Davis, thank Appreciate you. Appreciate so it. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate you. Thank you so much. Thanks, guys.